What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back, another vlog. You guys keep asking for more vlogs. I don't understand it. All right, forgive me. I don't, I just don't find my life very interesting. But for those of you that are interested in following along in the vlogs, we're gonna do more of them. And I appreciate each and every one of you for thinking that my life is actually worth watching. So here we are, we're over here at AR headquarters. This is where I used to live. And this is where I do all of my work for the YouTube channel. And look, I have been wearing the living heck out of my vesties, man. You can see they're all green. That's because I've been mowing in them. Uh, not sponsored. I still don't have a sponsorship with Vesti, but I'm trying, man. I'm really trying. I love their shoes. I do. And I don't have a link. I don't have a code. I don't have any of that stuff for you. It's just waterproof shoes that are still breathable and comfortable are worth more to me than any name brand shoe on the market uh, that I could go out and buy. These shoes have been absolutely great. So I'm going to continue supporting them. And I'm going to hope that someday Vesti is going to reach out to me and say, you know what? We love you too, and we want to do something with you. So we got the Cub Cadet, the ZT1, out here today, 50 inch. We're gonna put her to work on this yard. We've got Nick with us today. He's gonna to be doing some weed eating. I already did some weed eating. I did all of the front here, and I did. I edged over here. I did the little ditch and over by the shop and stuff. He's gonna handle some more weed eating. He's moving some rocks. Um, we got the push mower, just in case, and the blower. We're gonna do our own yard work today, guys. We're gonna to have to move that tow truck so we can mow under it. And I think we're even going to get some fill dirt. This has like a little hitch on the back of it. And I got a trailer that we can hook up. We're going to dig some of the ash out of the fire pit, load it up in the trailer, and try to fill in all this stuff over here where the tow truck got stuck. I'm going to set up a couple time-lapse cameras. One is on me, and the other is going to be in the yard so you can see the progress of the yard coming together. And uh, real quick, though, why don't we go take a quick peek at the little electric Nissan Leaf. All right. Oh, hello. I forgot you were, I forgot I had a Range Rover. <laughs> I totally forgot I had a Range Rover. Uh-oh, looks like the battery did not want to come back to life for us. That's not good. Yeah, the charger's a little on the upset side right now. Yeah, she's, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to unhook it. Dang it, I've left it sitting for a couple days. I was really hoping the battery was going to come back to life in this, but looks like it might not. But here's here's what I'm here for. The little electric leaf. I left it plugged in. I don't know how long it's been. Three or four days she's been sitting here. Curious to see if we've gained any range. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> I don't think the uh, I don't think the range just magically goes up for you. But I'm hopeful. I'm going to turn it on real quick. I want to put it in the yard 47. Yeah, that's... That's that's not what I was looking for. Not at all. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars left. You know, a lot of people in the comment section have been hating on this car, and I understand. I knew it was going to be hated on the moment I bought it. Um, but I'm here to tell you I got it for a $3,800 winning bid. It was $4,100 out the door. I've got $4,100 into this car. I see these things all the time selling locally. All over the internet, too. Not just locally, but locally... These things with less miles than this, getting 25 and 30, you see these things selling for $6,500 plus. I, I don't understand it, but it is what it is. So for 4,100 bucks, I've got a very clean, nicely running and driving car, nicely running and driving car, um, that I, I, I guarantee I'll make a profit on this one. I, I will. Whether you guys think I will or not is beside the point. Uh, this car will absolutely bring a profit, and I'll be excited to show that to you soon. So I took the Leaf out for a little spin without you guys, and it seems like the mileage is getting more and more accurate. As I predicted, the more I drive it, the more accurate the calibration of the battery is. So, yeah, 46, 47 miles seems to be probably pretty accurate. I'm going to give it some more time, though. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping at some point I can drive this from here to the house. Um, unfortunately, that's a bit of a ways, and I'm not sure it's going to make it. So I'm going to play with it out here, charge it, kill it, charge it, kill it, and, and hopefully we can get some more accurate numbers. But it occurred to me as I was in the little Nissan Leaf, uh, this is kind of crazy. This Cub Cadet lawnmower costs more than this car. Yes, and the car has better range than the lawnmower. I can promise you that. This car out the door is $4,100. This lawnmower 
with taxes and everything, came out to, I think it was 43, 43, $4,400. Not a big difference in price. It's not a massive difference, but it's kind of crazy when you think about it, that the cost of a pretty average brand new zero turn mower compared to the cost of a 2012 Nissan Leaf, for the price of a mower, you could have had the Leaf and enough money to charge it a few times. That. That's just, that's crazy. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'm going to put this back in the garage. I'm going to get it out of here and I'm going to set you guys up so we can do some time lapse of me mowing. And we'll see if you guys enjoy it. Definitely drop a comment below and let me know either way. guys that was a job nick did almost all the weed eating and i did all the mowing what do you think looks good it does it looks it looks really nice gotta clean up the rest of these limbs at some point but the yard looks real good we got some serious storms supposed to be moving in here soon the thunder's going crazy but before the storms get here i want to shovel all this up and I want to get it. Uh, I want to get it into this. I got this little trailer. It's been sitting out here for God. That trailer hadn't moved probably for two years, maybe pushing three. Tires were flat. I aired it up, but it came right back to life. Um, I'm going to shovel as much of this into that as I can, and then we're going to kind of patch up that front yard. Most of this is just burned up ash uh, from all the wood I burned over the years, and uh, we're going to put that into the trailer, and then Nick's going to shovel it into the yard. Then I think we'll be. We'll be about done. tired but the fire pit is a lot emptier and uh we're gonna put this little trailer to work here there's a lot of dirt and ash in there get over to the front yard and start filling in where that damned old tow truck got stuck all right did i back it up enough for you all right so the goal is to kind of even all this see all the ruts the goal is to get those filled in as much as possible to make them where they're almost even again. And when you get when you get about halfway, about right here, go ahead and holler at me and I'll come out and I'll take over. And I'll do it from here to about here. And then we'll work on that little section right there together. Sound good? Yeah, yeah just like that, bang that stuff into the ground and uh, hopefully these storms come through after we're done 
because that'll uh the rain will really help compact all that stuff down to the ground just like that storm just kind of came out of nowhere lots of lightning and thunder you can see the ground there Nick and I handled that it looks a lot better that rain will really help compact things down so we're hungry we have not eaten today and we were thinking we don't really want to drag that truck all the way into the city to go get food you know truck and trailer it's all loaded up and everything so i thought why don't we take the leaf i don't know uh this will be like the second time since the last video on the leaf that we've actually driven it so it says it's got like 46 miles on it i'm curious to see how far it's really got so we're gonna take it to the city you guys are gonna come with and we're gonna see if the leaf does any better today than it did in the last video, which was really, really bad. Man, we get some beautiful storms here, guys. I mean, some of them are pretty crazy and some of them are deadly, but you gotta love the skies, the clouds. I didn't anticipate doing a uh, time lapse for you guys of that, but I wanted to share it with you. If you're like me, you love a good storm. All right, let's unplug the car. And let's see how much range she says she's gonna give us. Hopefully it's better than 46, but if it's really 46, like I can make it there and back on 46 miles, easy. We don't need air conditioning today either. I forgot the key. Well, it says we've got 44 miles and last time it lied to us and I'm kind of wondering if it's lying to us again because we barely got 20 some miles out of it without having to charge. Thankfully, we know where a charger is though. So we're gonna take our chances. We're gonna go try to get something to eat and we're gonna find out if this thing can make it to the city and back without having to be recharged. We're starting our journey. I decided to go ahead and throw the car in eco mode just, just for fun. And it says we've got 49, so keep in mind, why don't we reset the trip real quick? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reset the I'm gonna reset the trip here to zero. And there we go. Trip is reset to zero. We just took off 49 miles. We're gonna drive through the weather and we're gonna see what kind of mileage it really gets. So far, so good. We're over 10 miles in with 30 miles of range left. If that's accurate, and it seems to be pretty accurate right now, that's 40 miles. That is far better than we got the first time we took it out. 
uh, we've driven 10.4 miles. It's 18 miles to the city and 18 miles back. We've only got eight miles left to go, guys, and 30 miles of range left. We might just be able to make it this time without having to charge up. Well, we made it to get food and we made it to the charger, which is about another four miles away. So we've done 22.4 miles, but we only have 12 miles left. According to this, I'm not sure whether I trust it or not. I definitely don't want to try to drive all the way home and find out it's not going to make it. So the only thing there is to do really is let's just hit the road. Let's just run it almost completely out of juice. And then the chargers are right there. I won't go too far away. We'll go maybe four or five miles up, four or five miles back. And we'll see how far it really goes before we run it almost completely empty. Well, I may have overestimated here, guys. I've got a, a light on the dash that says battery is low. It's showing less than four miles remaining. And uh, I still got a ways to go. So let's see if we're gonna make it. This is nerve wracking. Well, we made it. I don't know if this car gives you any any leeway. You know, like when you run out of gas, you still have, I don't know, you know, a gallon or so left. You could probably get another 20 or 30 miles. I don't know if this car does that. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a little nerve wracking. The range anxiety is absolutely real. We got here with three miles left on the dash. I don't know how long this is going to take to charge, but we're going to plug it in and we're going to find out. All right, let's see how this works. Last time I was a little disappointed with how much it cost. I thought it was only $3 and it was not. I later on got a bill showing that I was charged $16 to sit here and charge for, I don't know what it was, 30 minutes. Um, that was definitely not what I expected. I have to sign up for this again. All right, she's charging. Everything's initializing. Looks good on my app as well. So uh, we'll sit here for a little bit. It's 732. This shows that we had 19% battery remaining with what, two miles on the odometer? I don't know about that. Charging at 46 kilowatts, that's actually pretty decent. Let's see what happens when it's done. Well, we've been sitting here for 25 minutes and in 25 minutes, we're now up to 27 miles of range. It started out strong at 40 something kilowatts and it dropped off pretty quick, guys. It didn't hang on to that for long. And now we are at eight kilowatts. So we'll go ahead and shut her down. We can unplug. Uh-oh. There we go, boy. <laughs> Do not mess with me. There we go. Charging stopped. Energy delivered 6.7 kilowatt hours in 25 minutes. And it probably cost me like $12, $13. We started at 19%, ended at 72. Let's get on the road. Well, range anxiety in this car is very, very real. We got the low battery warning again. Three miles left. I have locked up the brakes to keep from hitting deer. I had to swerve out of the way of a raccoon. I'm done. I'm ready to go home. So I'm gonna get this car in the garage. Let's throw it on the charger. We made it just in time. Looks like it's gonna remain three miles to go. This is close. This is real close. And we drove 21.5 miles with three miles left. So it would have gotten us 24 miles and I think it said we had 27. So it's getting better. It's just, it's not a, it's not very good. Well, let's plug her in. I'm, I'm thinking the battery's just where it's at. I don't really expect that it's gonna get any better. I was hoping it might though. I really was, I was hoping it might. We'll get her charged. We'll come back another day. We'll play with her again. I'm really, I, I'm, I'm holding out hope that just maybe, just maybe by actually using the car, getting it adjusted to the way I drive, 
charging it, discharging it, and charging it again, that maybe the battery will get a little bit better. I, I think I'm wrong about that, though. I don't understand how these things work, obviously, and maybe the battery's just where it's at, and there's nothing else that can be done. Speaking of batteries that are where they're at, and nothing else can be done, I wonder if the old Range Rover battery has come back any since we started charging it. Let's see where she's sitting at now. We got negative over here. Get in there. And, boy, this son of a gun. Positive right here. Ow, dang it. And negative right there. Where's she sitting at? 11.3, not bad. Not bad. She's dropping a tad. Not bad at all. This battery might actually come back to life. I hope so, because that's probably like a $150, $160 battery, and I really don't want to have to replace it, especially considering all the other stuff going on with this car. It's not done charging yet, but let's go ahead and, and run the diagnostic on it and just see what it says. It's supposed to be 790 cc. It's 369. Yeah, that's... That's definitely not great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it was a hell of a day. You guys got to follow me from early afternoon all the way till after dark outside. So I hope this vlog was something you guys enjoyed. If it was, well, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, consider subscribing to the channel, and also consider sharing the video on your social media feed with your friends. It goes a long way to help the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking time to watch my videos. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.